um, there's Land Rover Discovery. It cranks, but it's not starting. So you can see it cranks, and the RPM is up, which shows that maybe the crank sensor is working. But it's starting. It's not starting. Sorry, it's not starting. So what I'll do is I'll scan the whole system and see the actual problem with it. So scan the whole car and see. But for the tachometer to move, that means the crank sensor is working. So it could be a full issue or anything else, but I'll scan it and see the actual problem. So wait for it to finish the diagnosis. Then I'll know the actual problem with the vehicle. It's now at 95, so it will be done soon. Then I'll go to report and check the port code or the related port code with the vehicle. To report and crank sensor. Wow, USB port. So crank sensor performance issue. Crank sensor A. But anytime you crank also, you can see that the tachometer start moving, you can see. So what I'll do is, um, I'll do a physical examination, so I'll raise it, see if it come up again. Okay, it is gone. It is gone, now there is no fall again. Let me go to the engine side. Turn off and turn on the ignition again and see if it will reappear whilst I'm not cranking the vehicle. Let me check the fourth code again. It's not appearing. Okay, so it's not appearing. Then let me crank it again. Then you can see the tachometer is moving. Now let me read it again and see if it will come up again. It comes up and it's reporting performance issue. So let me go to live data and search for RPM and see if I'll be able to see any RPM. Although the tachometer is showing an RPM doesn't mean doesn't mean oh let me do speed because it will be engine speed. Okay, so engine speed. So there is the engine speed. Let me crank it again and see. And there is no RPM, but the tachometer is up. So I'll shut it off and go and examine the crank sensor because this one, most of the crank sensor is around the crank pulling, so it could be an issue. So let me, let me do that. So after taking out the fender cover, now you can see the crank sensor. It looks like the belt had an issue and it's got the crank sensor cable torn. So I'll repair the wire, then I'll cut off the thread which is torn. So you can see the cable is torn. So I'll repair the wire and then we'll, we'll call it a fix. This is the broken wire and I'll start the vehicle and see if, if it starts then I'll go and work on the other ones like I'll go and I'll take the whole thing out and repair the wire properly. So now what I'll do is I'll turn on the key and erase the fourth code. Then now go to live data and type speed. The moment I see, so this is what I'm searching for. So the moment I see the RPM reading, then that means the vehicle is, yeah, you now the vehicle is running. So I'll turn it off and repair the wire. So that means it's a broken wire issue.
so I'll repair it and call it a fix. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos so you can see now it runs.